is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i'm going to be showing you guys my birthday hauls 2019 yes it is my birthday may 12th is my official birthday so today i will be celebrating not only mother's day but my own birthday it's kind of funny because when i was born the year that i was born mother's day was on my birthday so this year we're sort of repeating history here i was a mother's day present and today i get to celebrate with my mom again on mother's day it's my birthday pretty pretty exciting stuff pretty cool stuff i think that's pretty cool I've always thought that was amazing growing up as a kid. I was like, oh my God, it was a Mother's Day gift. But here today, guys, I'm going to show you everything that I got for my birthday. There is a gift that's not mentioned here. I feel like I'm leaving out a couple things. There's one thing. Um, I am going to be getting a new desktop computer for editing and stuff of that nature that my wife gave me. Face wife did get that for me, and I'm super excited for it. We're going to hook that thing up. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be able to edit and do all the big shows and do all the great stuff. And it's sad to say, but my laptop did. A, it, it went out, guys. The, the laptop that I've had since the beginning of this channel. It, it, it officially hit the freaking flatline, man. It hit the flatliner. It is officially dead. The motherboard went out on it. It was two and a half, three years old. It was a really good laptop. It put in great work from the beginning of the channel all the way up until the Royal Rumble. You guys know I had a crisis. The, the laptop went out right before the Rumble and I didn't know what the hell I was going to do. We figured that out and now I'm going to be getting a new desktop, which I'm super excited about. So that was my big, big gift for my birthday and I'm so appreciative and I love my wife so much and thank Thank her so much for that amazing desktop computer that we're going to be getting in here. But here's some other gifts that we got, guys. We have a couple WWE figures, maybe three. We have some other things in here we're going to show off. A lot of it's not really WWE related, but I love you guys so much, and I think that a lot of you are interested to know what I got for my hauls. We do have some action figures, but most of them are not WWE, and we're going to get into that. But the ones that are WWE, this one, this is not really a birthday gift, but I figured I'd show it off on camera anyway. It is this Jim the Anvil Nightheart Elite 43. This is for parts. I did a trade with a guy, and I honestly can't remember who it is. Uh, I did make a trade for this Jim the Anvil Nightheart, and I'm very excited to have it. I'm going to use some parts for it for a future custom, and then now that I've completed the trade, I realize that I, I want to use some different parts. I'm going to complete the trade anyway, because, you know, we made a deal. I got to go through with the trade, but I actually have an idea for a different way to make the custom, and that's, I don't know. I, I mean, I've been missing this figure from my collection anyway, so I guess I knocked that out, right? Next up, guys, we have a really epic custom. I got this from my boy G Natty. You guys know my homie over there. Uh, uh, one of the guys that inspired my channel and I I got this elite WrestleMania 35 Seth Rollins from him and it looks fantastic. I'm so, so excited for it. This is actually the first custom I've ever purchased from him and Angelo. I think that's his name or Angel. Either one. And he knocked this out of the park. I think it looks great. I love the logos on everything. The only complaint I have is that the open knee pads aren't on here. Not a huge deal. You know, it's not a deal breaker or anything. The rest of it looks fantastic. I love all the colors. I love the black and gold. It looks just like the attire that Rollins wore. And the only thing we have to do is switch out this head scan for a top talents. We'll probably do that on action figure surgery or something. But I am very, very excited to uh, use this and have it on the shelf and, you know, put the universal title on it. We'll fix it up, put the Kingslayer t-shirt on there. It's going to look great, but this was one of my birthday gifts for my wife as well. And we got the WrestleMania 35 Rollins looking beautiful, and I cannot wait again to use it in future videos and stuff of that nature until Rollins switches his attire and then it becomes useless. I'm kidding, but seriously, he's going to switch attire soon, and then, you know, it's just going to go up on the shelf. But another thing that I got, guys, was this Punisher pop socket. You guys can see that. My phone's all ripped up. I need to get a new case, but we did get this Punisher pop socket. This was also a gift from my wife. You guys know last year's video, she hooked me up with the John Cena one, and this one has officially bit the dust. I mean, look at this, guys. It's so worn and stuff. You'll say, well, Trey, that one's worn too, but no, this was made this way, and it looks pretty cool. It's got the, the, the Punisher logo fading out and stuff. You guys know Punisher's one of my favorite Marvel characters, and then the John Cena one just, yeah, man. I, I mean, it's, it's beat to hell. It needed to go. So this one is officially going to retire. I'll probably keep it because I'm a sentimental idiot. Yet, but I thought that was an awesome gift as well. Some other things that are kind of small, and we'll get these out of the way real quick. Um, I got hooked up with these markers. My wife also got me these. Face wipes are absolute beast. I got these for uh, some customs and stuff of that nature. I know you're thinking you can't color on the customs. No, I don't color on the customs, but I have some print-off sheets with figures outlined, and I go in and say I want to make Finn Balor. I can draw up Finn Balor and then fill it in with the colors that I want. Seth Rollins. Any guys that I want to do, like fantasy attires, I'll draw them up first, color them in, make them, you know, make them look like I want to look like and then bring it to life in figure form. So that's just a little uh, thing that I do. Started doing that maybe last week and I really am loving the way it's coming out. 
and I can't show you guys because it's it's huge spoilers for the future, but I have to, you know, leave you guys uh, hanging on the edge of your seats for now with what we're going to be doing in the future with some customs and stuff of that nature, but just know that I'm going to be putting these markers to good use, and we're going to get some work for them here on the channel. Next up, guys, we have a couple t-shirts, and this one's actually hilarious. My brother Brad, you guys know, that's not his real name, his real name's Taylor, but you guys know we refer to him as Brad here on the channel because he's my uh, commentary partner, but he got me this t-shirt, and there's actually a funny story behind the t-shirt. You guys will see once it's pulled open here. It is an AEW All Elite Wrestling t-shirt, and I don't know if you guys can see, but the logo is super grainy, and it's hilarious because he was going to order the official one from Pro Wrestling Tees. He found out that it wasn't going to make it here on time for my birthday, and so he went to eBay and ordered one, and it is totally like an off-brand t-shirt. I'm still going to wear it, but I just thought that was hilarious. Me and him usually like pick on each other about gifts and stuff, and we usually have like one or two gag gifts or one of the gifts that doesn't pan out, and that was the case with this. So the AEW shirt is pretty grainy, but it's hilarious anyways, and I love it. I'll still wear it. I'll go to the gym in it. I'll do different things in it, so I appreciate that so much from him, and I told him that we'll, we'll get the, the AEW is Jericho shirt from Pro Wrestling Tees to make up for it. But there's the AEW shirt. I love Brad. Thank you so much, brother, literally, for that. Another shirt that we got right here, you guys probably don't really care, so I'll just show it off briefly, but it is this. Uh, I wear Nike a lot. I wear, you know, wrestling. If I'm not wearing a Nike shirt or a wrestling shirt, then I'm naked. So we got the Nike shirt right here. It's just a black shirt, blue graphic on there. Nice little uh, stuff going on there with some shimmer. So there's the Nike shirt. Again, not very exciting for you guys, but I figured I'd show it off anyways. Next up, we're going to get into the figures, guys. The only WWE Elite besides the Seth Rollins that I got is this Elite 61 Tyler Breeze. The reason I got this was for some future Young Buck customs. You guys know I have. I think two of these already. I'm going to take a couple of them, make some Young Bucks. I don't know if I'm going to use the full body of this Tyler Breeze, but I am going to be using the pink and black tassels, also the pink and black armbands for future Young Bucks customs. You know, they're going into Hell's Gate. Going to be defending those MDT Tag Team Championships, so I, I want to make some new Young Bucks. We've had three, uh, two different pairs of Young Bucks on the channel in the two years, and I want to make a third to add to our Young Buck collection there. So I will be using this Elite 61 Tyler Breeze. Next up, guys, I never picked up the Mark 7 Iron Man figure from Marvel Legends, so I decided I wanted to add this to my uh, Iron Man Marvel Legends collection. I don't collect a ton of Marvel Legends. I've actually think thought about expanding my Marvel Legends collection. I only collect uh, Iron Man, Punisher, and Wolverine. Those are my three guys. And since Iron Man is my favorite Marvel character, I did want to add the Mark 7. This is one of the ones that I haven't added yet. I would uh, love to know if you guys would be interested in sh me showing off my Marvel Legends collection. That is something that I've never done here on the channel. So if you guys would like to see that, you guys can obviously uh, comment down below. But I love this figure. I've, I've always wanted to, to track it down. And I've seen it in stores a hundred times and I just never pulled the trigger on it just because I was, you know, focused on getting figures for the channel and content of stuff of that nature. So I wanted to add this. So I got this from eBay. This was an eBay grab, but it was a birthday present. So I went ahead and uh, grabbed that. The Mark 7 is one of my favorite suits. I think it looks great. It's beautiful looking, freaking fantastic. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have two figures and uh, this is going to be a uh, sort of sentimental to me because um, if you guys know me, if you guys know the history of the channel or the history of my Instagram page, I don't think a lot of people know this and it's kind of crazy to look at how far we've come compared to when I first started my Instagram page. But when I first started my Instagram page, when I first started collecting figures in general, besides when I was a little kid, I started collecting these right here. They're Dragon Ball Z S H figure arts figures and I collected them for maybe two years and I had a nice collection man I it, like a th like thousands of dollars worth collection it was it was fantastic I loved them so much and um, when I got in deep into the WWE figures before I started the channel I sold all of them I had like 20 to 25 maybe 30 I can't remember how many I had maybe over 20 and I, I, I sold them all you know I sold them off and then I started to build my WWE figure collection and ever since that day you know when I got out of them I, I was I was completely done with the line I was just just like, you know what? These are fantastic. They're great for what they are, but I want to go into a figure line that, that's a lot cheaper. You know, I can get some guys and, you know, I love wrestling. I follow wrestling. I want to, you know, start doing this and, you know, that, at that time I was watching channels like Gennady and Undisputed Brotherhood and Wad Figs and guys of that nature and Shardimus Prime and all, all these people and I wanted to get into the WWE figures. I know Shardimus isn't WWE, but anyways, I used to have a very nice DBZ SH Figure Arts collection and I sold them all, started the channel, and I haven't looked back from there. I never got them again. And then until recently, I, I've been seeing all the different releases that they've been getting, and I've been wanting to do this for a while, but to start off building back up my DBZ SH Figure Wars collection, 
and I wanted to start off with my favorite anime character of all time, which is Vegeta. Very nostalgic. I love Vegeta so much. His depth to his character, I think he's one of the most interesting characters in all of DBZ history. DBZ is also my favorite anime, if you guys didn't know. But we have two of his figures here. This is the 2.0 version of the Scouter Vegeta. I love it so very much. I remember the day that I went to Walmart when I was like five, I think, and I picked up a Scouter Vegeta from Jax, and it's so cool to see, you know, uh, that figure compared to this one. And maybe I can put up a picture of that Jax Scouter Vegeta that I bought when I was like five, which was like 17 years ago or 18 years ago. This is actually the 2.0 version, which is a lot better than the version I owned when I was collecting these figures. I'll pull that up as well. You guys can see like a difference between the two. Totally different figure, man. They, they updated Vegeta and made him so great. There's a lot more Vegetas out there that I want to get. There's the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan form. We have the regular Super Saiyan re-release. And then this also comes with two heads. I want to put a black hair version on a couple of the suited versions. We also have Majin Vegeta here, which is one of my favorites. I'm probably going to repaint this, get it customized a little bit because it's not as anime accurate as I would like. But these figures are fantastic, guys. And if you guys knew the cost of these compared to WWE figures, you would be absolutely mind blown. Like the, These figures are very expensive, but they're so nice. And I wanted to restart my DBZ SH Figure Arts collection with Vegeta, my boy. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to have me a small display for all of my SH Figure Arts. And the cat is trying to knock over the effing camera. But there are these figures. I love these so much. Cannot wait to crack them out and pose them around and stuff. Way like Amazing articulation, amazing detail. And I'm so happy to restart my DBZ SH Figure Arts collection. We're going to hook those up and we're going to make the, ep the, the collection epic with those. And then the last thing that we have to show off, guys, are these vans that I also got for my wife. Me and me and Face Wife like to go big on each other's birthdays. We, we get all excited about it and we, we kind of spoil each other and we want each other to feel special and, you know, do some stuff. So I got these vans. She picked these up for me at Journeys and these are great. I love these so much. I love to wear vans. I want to start, like, collecting a big vans collection. I think this is, like, my fifth or sixth pair, maybe seventh. I can't remember. I've had different colors in the past, but I've never done the checkerboard before. I don't think I've ever had a royal blue pair. I've had a navy pair, and I'm excited to wear these. I'll probably wear these today for Mother's Day, so that's pretty sweet. Gonna cop these today. But that is pretty much it for my birthday hauls 2019. Guys, again, the computer is included in this, and I'm very blessed individual. I love all of my gifts so much. I love my wife, and I love my brother and my family that hooked me up with all of these amazing gifts, and I'm so excited to get some usage out of them and everything. I want to stack everything up here, but I'm super blessed, like I said, and I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Thank you to all the people who have wished me happy birthday and thank you to everybody. I know I'm going to get a ton of happy birthday comments on this video, so thank you guys so much for all of you and everybody that's subscribed to the channel. But that is pretty much going to do it for today's video. Again, thank you guys so very much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all of the birthday wishes. I hope you guys have a fantastic Mother's Day. Tell your mother you love them and thank them for everything that they do for you. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.